Hello guys, what is going on today? I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own forms for a community of sorts, game community, doesn't really matter. Um, first thing you're going to need is go to MyBB. All of these links will be in the description below, and you're going to want to download it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to need to download it. The next tool you are going to need is FileZilla, and you're going to need to download that. Once again, all links in the description, and just like everything so far, WinRAR. Okay, once you have all of those downloaded, you're going to go over to 00, zero webhost and you're going to go on to this, this should be the default landing page. Then you're going to click sign up. Then you're just going to fill out all of your information. You can only use this option if you already own a domain and you just simply wish to switch it over to 00 web host. Otherwise, you're going to have to do a free one with 00 web host. There is other web hosting programs you can use, but they will cost you money. And as far as free ones go, I personally think this is the best. So they're always going to have some dot something com ul. It's always just random every hour it changes. So if you really don't like it, you can wait an hour, see if you like that one. So fill everything out. I'm just quickly going to go ahead and pause this and fill everything out because that's really boring to watch. So now that you do have everything filled out, you are going to agree to the terms of service, fill up the CAPTCHA, and click Create My Account. Now the cool thing about this is as soon as you get your email and verify it, it'll say Building, and once you refresh, it'll be Finished Building. So I'm quickly just going to go to my email and just make sure that I did get sent correctly. So after clicking the link inside of your email, you should be sent back to this website and the status should be saying building. You just refresh it and it should say active. Now you can click your domain. Basically what this says is that your website's up and running and you just have nothing uploaded to it. So you're sent to this default landing page. So you exit out of that. And the next step is to go to your cPanel. We're going to need to scroll down to MySQL and Software and Services. And we're going to make a database, a username and passwords. Now I like to keep it simple and just name it data for the database. And the username is something simple like user. The password, I'm just going to keep it simple because it doesn't really matter. I don't plan on using this website. So once you have all this information entered, you're just going to click Create Database. Then you're going to go back to your MySQL. And it doesn't really matter from here. So next thing we need to do is open FileZilla. Now as far as it goes, the host, we just copy and paste this IP address. And we put it in there. The username, it's right here as well. So we're just going to copy and paste that into the username. And then it's the password you used when logging in to this website, the whatever password you used to create the website, not the database. So then you're just going to click Quick Connect and then abort all previous things. If you had something already open for this, now it says directly uploaded successful, directory, my bad. And then it's easy to separate this again. You're going to go back to your MyBB file that you should have gotten from downloading it. And then you're just going to bring it over to the other side of the screen. Now in FileZilla, you're going to want to open up your public HTML file. You have to be inside of it, otherwise this won't work. And then on the WinRAR side, you're going to go to your Upload. And you see all this, you're going to click Admin. Scroll all the way down, hold Shift, and click this. So you've selected everything. You can also press Control a but I personally just like to do this more. Then, as soon as you have all these things highlighted, you're going to drag them over here. And the great thing about FileZilla is it automatically places files where they need to go. Since we're transferring over 800 files, this is probably going to take about 5-10 minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and come back to you when I'm done. So once you have finished uploading all your files through FileZilla, you can go ahead and exit out of FileZilla. And then just go to your domain. Now what you should see is a MyBB error page. Basically what this means is you need to install it. So don't panic. To fix this, you're going to get your URL and type in backslash install. Once you are here, there's going to be a bunch of licensing agreements you're just going to need to accept to. Now you can allow anonymous statistics or not, it's really up to you. I'm just going to check off. Then we click next. As far as licensing agreement goes, it's just like everything. You just pretty much want to click next and almost no one reads it. Now this is where everything must be green or writable or installed exactly how it is, otherwise it's not going to work. I've never had an error with this, but they all need to be like that. Next. Okay, so this is the complex part of it as you may say. So for the host name, it's just your MySQL host name right down here. You're going to copy that and you're going to put that there. Your database username is going to be here under MySQL user. That is your username, your user, your database password, which is the password that you created for your MySQL. Then you're going to copy and paste your database name. And if everything is good, with Unicode and MyBB underscore, you're going to click next. Now basically what this is, is a loading screen if it's saying done, 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 all this stuff is done. Next, database and stuff, more stuff you have to just skip through and agree. Um, this is where you can name your forms, like I'm just going to name it my forms, 
This is just what will come up on the tab. Website name. I usually just name them the same thing, because obviously you're not going to have eight different names. And then, yes. For as far as contact email goes, you can change this to whatever you want. I'm just going to use the same email I used to register with this. So that way it goes to that email, not some random email, just in case I ever decided to use this. Then you're going to click Next. And now this is where you create an administrator account. This is the thing that's going to make all the changes to your website. The admin CP is what it's going to mostly use. So as far as username you can go, you can do almost anything. I'm just going to type in a username, password. It's just going to be something simple. So that way I can remember it in the future. I'm going to go ahead and retype this because I'm pretty sure I messed up. There we go. And then email address. You have to put an email address here, so I'm just going to use the same email again. So we're going to click Next. And then it says you have finished this, so we can get rid of this. And we'll be brought back to our forms. Now it's going to kind of look ugly at first. That's because we don't have a theme or shoutbox or plugins. And later videos, I'm going to show you how to add different themes to make your forms not look ugly. Kind of fix this little page icon to be whatever kind of icon you want. Kind of like Zero Zero Web Hosts is that weird kind of like swirly thing. And put in a bunch of plugins such as shout boxes so players can communicate and whatnot. But as of for now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.